all right guys welcome back to another video and today we're talking about my top games and apps to show your family and friends new to vr in 2023 now just so you guys know the games that are coming up on this list are not exactly in a particular order they're just not my top 15 games in general not necessarily numbered from 15 to 1 because that was really hard to do for a list like this on why one would be one and 15 would be 15 so i just give you all my favorite games and apps that i showcase to my family and friends still to this day there's some new stuff on the list there's some old stuff on the list a little bit of everything so you have a great time showing vr to your family so let's go ahead and get into the video gaming tech eating brekkie is the gaming tech going for a brekkie is the gaming tech gaming tech is the gaming tech gaming tech all right guys so coming in at number 15 is Catan vr so this is for all my board game players out there uh Catan's obviously one of the uh, if not the biggest known board game out there that everyone seems to know it's been around a really long time it's kind of like the gateway board game so it's great to have it in vr and it's also great to show to your family and friends because of that reason because most of them who are board game fans are going to know what Catan is and they can see exactly what vr can do for board games this game was really well made it's been around for a long time um and it was really well made then and it's still a really fun board game to play in vr and uh, the to experience a Catan version in vr so it'd be a great board game to show to them and and they can kind of experience why we want more board games in vr and what makes it cool so Catan vr coming in at number 15. The next one here coming in at number 14 is Smash Drum. So this is for all my music uh, fans out there and people who love rock band. There's a lot of rock band fans out there uh, between family and friends. And this kind of gives you that experience in VR. I love the mixed reality update that they added now. And the reason that this makes the list and it wouldn't have made the list beforehand is because of their recent DLC. Because they now actually have tracks that people know. And you know, even though I'm fine with playing tracks that I don't necessarily know that are big names. Uh, for a list like this where you're trying to show family and friends, it really helps when you actually know the songs that you're actually playing for a game like this. And they do now have songs, uh, you know, with their first DLC that are finally songs that we all know. So this is a great way to showcase what rock band kind of drumming in VR can look like, what music rhythm games can look like. Smash Drums coming in at number 14. The next one here coming in at number 13 is Crisis Brigade 2. So this is a shooter game. But it's a really easy shooting game because you're, you're trying to show games uh, you know, to your family and friends. You don't want heavy shooters that you're moving around a lot like Pavlov and stuff like that. That's not what this list is. But this one is a fantastic way to show it because of the fact that this is like Time Crisis in VR. People love Time Crisis. They love the arcade classic. And if you just want a shooting game in VR to show to your family and friends, this one's really easy to play. You just stand in one spot and you're taking cover and stuff like that. And it really showcases to them. You know what shooting games in VR can be like and, and the gameplay is obviously super fun the levels are really easy to get through and it's just a super fun shooting game that you can you know get yourselves into into that genre so Crisis Brigade 2 coming in at number 13. The next one here coming in at number 12 is the newest game on the list it has Ghostbusters Rise of the Ghost Lord now I know what you guys are thinking this is on the list because of the introductory mission only because obviously this is a multiplayer focused game you're not going to be showing this to your family and friends but the introductory mission can be replayed at any time right from the main menu and it's like 10 or 15 minutes long and it's a great way to show ghostbusters fans or family and friends who have even a little bit of interest in ghostbusters to show them what it's like to grab that proton pack in vr and grab ghosts and, and capture ghosts and stuff like that they'll have a great time playing the introductory mission and it's a great way to showcase you know what vr can do so ghostbusters rise of the ghost lord coming in at number 12. The next one here coming in at number 11 is Samba de Amigo. Samba de Amigo is of course a game that a lot of us recognize from the Dreamcast and stuff like that and this is a great m music rhythm game that people can get into really easily. I've been showing this to family and friends. The track list is good because it has classics from Sonic if you have video game fans that you're showing to. It also has regular songs that like you know people will know from all over the world and it's a fantastic way to show, to show it to people. The mixed reality mode is cool if you want to showcase that. Or just the actual gameplay itself it's really easy to get into and it makes you really have fun because you're doing all these crazy poses and stuff like that it's a really get great party game to play with other people and stuff like that and it's a great way to show you know your family and friends a game like this in, in vr and they'll have a lot of fun with the style the music uh you know the the, the crazy graphics and, and just a lot of fun with this one this is definitely one i recommend showing your family and friends some of the amigo coming in at number 11. The next one here coming in at number 10 is a game called Bounce Shot. Bounce Shot is basically a game 
that is for people in your in your family and friend circle that have played games like beer pong and that's basically everyone uh, depending on your age group a lot of people are going to be familiar with this game and going to be familiar with the concept and you can kind of showcase them like how much fun you can have with this game in vr this is a really addicting game in my opinion i'm always like one more match one more match and it has multiplayer online so you can play 1v1 or 2v2 the physics are fantastic uh, they have three different environments that you can play in you can play single player against the ai and it's just a fantastic game and a lot of people who obviously are familiar with this game in real life will easily gravitate towards playing it in vr and be like oh this is cool this is this is fun i can see what vr can do with playing against other people around online and being able to play beer pong basically anytime you want beer pong is fun and and, and stuff like that but you know playing a game like this where you can play against anybody else online at any time and not have to worry about always relying on your friends coming over is a pretty cool thing so bounce shot coming in at number 10. The next game here coming in at number nine, X Big Screen. Big Screen is of course what you use to watch movies and stuff like that. And there's no way you can have a headset and not show people what it's like to watch movies in VR when you're showing your family and friends. It's one of the first go-to things I showed, especially 3D movies. Uh, whether you have a 3D movie on the Quest itself or you wanna show them the big screen trailers that they have going on in the, in the movies. Uh, it's also a great way to show what social VR can look like. So you can go in there and show them like, hey, this is what it's like to watch movies with a bunch of other people, talk to them and stuff like that. People are always hosting like karaoke events on there. I showed my family <laughs> karaoke where we were all screaming and, and, and singing the songs and stuff like that, which is definitely a unique experience. Watching movies with everyone. They have a bunch of different environments and stuff like that for you to explore. But the movie watching experience is awesome on the Quest 3 especially. And to be able to showcase that to your family and friends to show them, hey, this is what VR can do for 3D movies and 2D movies in general. Definitely recommend it. Big screen coming in at number nine. The next one here coming in at number eight is Richie's Plank Experience. This is one that has always been recommended for years. It's been around for a really long time. This is the Plank Experience where you put your family and friends who have never tried VR or where they go up an elevator and they have to basically walk the plank. If you are not... If you're new to VR and stuff like that and you've never seen VR, this is obviously one to show them because they're going to be, you know, shaking their boots as far as like, you know, being that high up and experiencing the heights and stuff like that and making it seem like they might fall off a building if they walk off the edge. It's a really cool experience to see people's reactions and stuff like that. It's been around for a while and it's one I still heavily recommend. There's nothing else like it and uh, it's, it's always worth it for the reactions of people who have never played VR to see what they do in this game. So Richie's Plank Experience coming in at number eight. The next one here coming in at number seven is called Just Hoops. So this is a game that is going to be for my basketball fans out there. There's so many basketball fans that you're showing, you know, games to and stuff like that. And this one's really, really easy because it's relying on arcade basketball and it's really, really cool. They have a more variety in a game than I've ever seen uh, when it comes to different hoops that you're playing, different balls that you're shooting against. You have full size hoops, you have arcade style hoops, you have hoops right in front of you. Uh, you have hoops that are designed differently with like Halloween themed, Christmas themed, like all of these different style hoops uh, to, to kind of play through and stuff like that. Really showcases how much fun you can have in VR with basketball. And just, you know, obviously people love the experience of playing the arcade basketball game and that you can kind of bring it into your home, especially with the mixed reality update that they have. Check this out, Just Hoops coming in at number seven. The next one here coming in at number six is called Effect of the Manor. This is one that's been around for a really, really long time as well, but there's still nothing else like it when it comes to horror games because it's a really easy game to show off to your family and friends because it's a haunted house and they can easily go through. There's jump scares at every corner uh, and you're walking through and it's something that you could finish in one sitting, and especially with the new mode that they added where you're just you know playing through to see how long you last and stuff like that. It's a great game to show off your family and friends because of how easy it is to kind of play through and see an experience and it's a great way for people to watch what you're doing as well because you know you get scared you get you guys have a good time if you're a horror fan it's a great way to obviously show your family and friends if they're into horror and stuff like that uh so even though this has come out a long time ago it's still a great game to show off effect of the manor coming in at number six the next one here coming in at number five is world and world is uh, basically you can see anything in the world that you actually want to see by going to different 3d maps and stuff like that as you can see here a lot of the cities have a lot of you know the major cities have all these 3d environments and stuff like that you can explore with other people online so this is a great way to showcase uh you know people online uh, people that you're showing this off to 
their home. You can take them where maybe they wanted to go. Maybe they've never been to Disney World or Disneyland. Maybe they've never been to, you know, Paris and stuff like that. And you can kind of put them into either these, uh, you know, 360 pictures and stuff like that so they can feel like they're there. Or you can also sell them these 3D environments right in front of them that's showcasing it and stuff like that. There's some mini games that they can play in there as well to showcase all these different cool environments to be in. I think this is a great way to show people, you know, what it's like to see real world environments in VR when you're showing your family and friends and showcasing to locations to maybe that they've wanted to go to that they've never been able to go to before. So world coming in at number five. The next one here coming in at number four is Walkabout Mini Golf. Uh, I've talked about this game a lot on so many different lists, and Walkabout Mini Golf is such a fantastic game to show off to family and friends because everyone understands the concept of mini golf, and everyone loves mini golf, and we all love going mini golfing. And the environments that these guys have created, there's so many to choose from now, and they're all unique from each other. There's the basic ones that they start off with to now more crazy levels that you know do all of these unique things. The levels are always really well designed. The holes are always really unique. And this is a great way to show people, you know, what mini golf can look like in VR, what makes VR cool in my opinion, because you can play mini golf with eight other people online. You can showcase to them all these cool different environments and what VR lends itself to do with, you know, playing mini golf like this. And it's a great way to kind of show that off. They've made a bunch of new courses here, like the Widow's Walkabout that just came out, which is a horror course. So many different courses for you to choose from. But regardless, this is a great one to show to your family and friends. Uh, we all love mini golf, so it's an easy showcase. Walkabout Mini Golf coming in at number four. The next one here coming in at number three is 11 Table Tennis. This is the game that I have talked about and that I play every day. And it's one of the games that I always show people who are into table tennis. There's a lot of our family and friends that are into table tennis. And I think once they get used to the physics of this game, their mind's going to be blown. Uh, especially now with the mixed reality up there that you can literally put the table tennis table right in your home. Uh, but regardless, even if you do that mixed reality update or not, the, fixes, the physics in this are on point and... You know, being able to basically play anybody online at any time and be able to play table tennis anytime I want without having to rely on someone to come over and take gigantic space up and have it feel exactly the same is one of the many things that I love about VR. And this game does it super well. And people who are into table tennis are going to be kind of blown away for the first time if they've ever experienced VR and be like, wow, this feels like real life table tennis. I want to get this. I want to play table tennis every day with people online and I have to worry about bothering people to come over to my house every time. And this is just fantastic. Table uh, 11 table tennis coming in at number three. The next one coming in at number two is Drop Dead the Cabin. So this is for all the, your family or your friends that are into Call of Duty, if they want to play a zombie game. Uh, you can definitely showcase the main mode to them so they can play a Call of Duty-like zombies-like mode uh, so they can kind of showcase what that would look like and stuff like that since that game mode has been so popular for so long. But what I really put this game on the list for and why I say it's for family and friends is for the mixed reality update that they added to this game where you can now turn your room where you're playing mixed reality and you have all your windows and doors uh, being taken up and you actually have zombies coming through those windows and you have to showcase to them My family and friends had a kick when I showed them to this It shows them what mixed reality can do the new uh, upcoming feature Of course if you have a quest 3 showcase to them what it can do to your home and how crazy it is to see zombies literally coming through your window But still being in your actual environment. It's a really cool experience It's one of my favorite use cases of mixed reality that's come out so far even though we're at the beginning stages But it's a great thing to show to your family and friends I've shown all my family this and we all took turns and they all had a kick of it uh, drop dead the cabin coming in at number two and the last game here coming in at number one is BAM, uh, one of the recent releases as well. And this is obviously on here for Mixed Reality. And if you have multiple headsets to show your family and friends, this would be even better. So you can actually show them, you know, going around the table and playing a local multiplayer game like this where you're trying to be the last one standing and knocking each other off the stage and stuff like that. It's really cool to see people's reaction and be like, hey, I'm really in my room, but I'm also playing this game that looks like it's floating in my room and playing these different mini games and stuff like that. It's a super cool game. BAM, coming in at number one. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this list so you can have a bunch of ideas to show your family and friends if you have a Quest 3 or a Quest 2 and you're just getting into VR and you want to showcase, you know, a bunch of different mini games and games to your family and friends to show them what VR can do. Hopefully you guys got something out of this list so you can use it for that use case. There's a lot of cool stuff coming up for VR every day and a lot of cool stuff that I'm working on as far as content for you guys coming up, obviously, as the holiday season rolls around. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for what's coming next. And guys, if you guys have any questions, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time.